Hey y'all, going to do a little video today. I'm going to show you this uh, Atari 1020 color printer. And to be frank, this printer never worked since I bought it back in 1980. And I'm going to get ready to sell it on eBay. So what I'm going to do is open it up, see what's left in the box. I can't remember, I haven't opened it up in years, so this is going to be uh, new to me as it is to you. So let's open it up and see what we got inside. Okay. So you can see the box is a little, a little worse for wear and tear, but not, not destroyed. Got a little tear here on the corner. Got some tape on the cover here. Uh, you know, it is what it is. So let's get it out of the box. Out of the box. Nothing in there. This side up. Pop it open. See what we got inside. Alright. Looks like we don't have much inside. No pens, looks like. I got the tape here. Came in a cassette tape. Joystick sketch pad that's never been opened. Got some instructions here. No, I don't know if that's even in the instructions. But then we have our little printer here. It seems like it's still, it's still uh still apart after all these years. Where's the screws at? I'd like to know. Looks like two screws are missing. I don't see them in the box here. That's bad news for me. Let's pop it open and see what we got here. I wonder if the ink is in here. I don't know. Okay, we got a roll of paper in here. Looks like the ink is in here. Probably not, not any good though. That's a nice roll of paper they gave you back then. Now if I can remember correctly, there was a, uh, a gear of some sort that was always uh, giving trouble. So what I'm going to do is pull this paper out of here so we don't mess it up and drop it on the floor. Spindle still in here. All the paper is still in here, still, still intact. So let's see if we can take this thing apart. Like I said, the two screws are already missing on the bottom. All four, four screws. Missing three screws at least. I forget how this comes apart. It's been uh, about 30 years. Let's see if we can get the top off now. Oh, there goes the top. Hmm. I remember there being a small gear with a little crack in it that kept this thing from doing its job. I guess it's over here somewhere. So, getting back to it. This uh, seems this gear, there's a little tiny gear here. It's about an eighth of an inch thick. I don't know if you could even see it, it's so small. Anyway, it seems it gets a split in it that you're not going to be able to see. I could barely see it with the naked eye. I had to use my uh, magnifying glass to see it. But anyway, it's, it's split. So what happens is, when this uh, is trying to advance the paper, it gets stuck. It keeps getting stuck in the same spot. And, uh, you know, you can't, you can't run a printer that way. Anyway, I seem to have found a place that uh, is actually 3D printing these little mini things. And... They, what they do is they print them in a, 
a group of three that you could break apart so you could uh, fix your printer. So a group of three is going to run you about, I don't know, 13 to $15 including shipping, which I guess is not a bad deal if you want to get your printer working. Okay, so, so what I was thinking of was that when we put this gear on, the forces push it out and make the uh, gear spread. So what we're going to do is we're going to squeeze it inside these calipers. We're going to set it on 3.62. We're going to stick this in there just right. Like that. Okay, see that? 3.62 millimeter. Okay, so what we're going to do is take a 1 16th drill bit and we're going to drill out the center ever so slightly. 1 16th being the size of the shaft. So if we put it on and it's loose, it won't crack the gear open even though it's already cracked so what I'm doing is just drilling out little by little okay now take it out of here put that down okay, if you slide our gear back on it's really loose, right? But does it does it move? See now it moves without getting stuck. It's still getting stuck once in a while, but not like it was before. So what we need to do is we're gonna put a little glue on the shaft. I'm gonna keep it clamped in here. Just put the uh make sure the crack is level with the uh the jaws, right? Let's see how we're going to do this. So I'm going to put it on like this. So where's my crack? Right there. So I'm going to slide it on there. With the crack facing the opening. There's my crack. I lost it. Crack is so tiny you can't even see it. Okay, we're still on 3.62. Looks like the crack is right there. Mm, I'm going to turn it a little bit. Yeah, that's how I want it. Okay, now the, uh, the caliper is holding the crack closed for me at the appropriate measurement, 3.62. And what I'm going to do is take a drop of crazy glue. And I'm going to put it on the shaft. Being careful not to get it near the uh, other gears. I prefer this uh, Loctite Ultra Gel Control. It has more uh, control and ain't dripping all over your stuff. Now what I'm going to do is slide the gear on just like this if I can. Yeah. No, it's going to be a little difficult. I finally got it to clamp on right. <clears throat> Let that glue dry a little bit. It only takes five minutes. Five minute ultra control gel. This is a really good uh, glue. I hope this works. Probably put a drip on the other side too. Uh, 
always put your cap on this one. Okay, I'm going to let that dry. And we'll be All back right, in so a it's minute. been a couple minutes now. I'm going to slide this off. And let's see, it's dry. Feels dry on that end. Must be dry on the other end. And it seems to be working. So there you go. You can actually fix your gear if you want to. Using a little uh, 1 16th drill bit. A little crazy glue on the shaft. Squeeze it while it dries with your, with your caliper or even with your fingers if you have to. And then once it dries, if, uh, if you drilled it out right, it'll work. See, it's, it's not getting stuck any time. The gear's not spinning on the shaft. I really got to find my uh, power supply though to test it really good, but it seems to be working. So, that, so really, what's happening is it's uh, it's it's gluing this shut by the side. So and it, at the same time gluing it gluing it to the shaft. So if you had to get glue inside the crack, you'd have the same problem as with the crack because it would be too wide open because it's such a fine gear. So. What we did here was made it not spread open by the shaft and then glued it shut on the end. Okay, so that should work fine. I believe this is the motor that's spinning. I'd have to take this cover off to see, which I'm not going to do right now. But anyway, fix your own gear or buy a new one. Your choice. I'll leave the link below. So what I'm going to do is put this back together now. So what we're going to do is put this cover back on. And uh, you can see something broke inside here. I don't know how, when that broke, but this was the thing that was making the noise inside. And I can't find the plastic part. That's not it. Yeah, I can't find the plastic part that was missing, so I don't think I just broke it. I think it's been broke. So anyway, what we got to do is slip this in. So we're going to do it like this. And we have to lift it up a little bit. To slide the bottom parts in. There we go. Got it. Make sure your little red uh, LED comes through the hole and that you're not squishing it in. Let's put the... Well, we got to see if we can put a screw in the bottom. I found a couple screws. I don't know what the hell happened to the screws that were in here originally. Well, let's try this. That seems to have worked. Try this one over here, and that should be good enough. Yep, that worked. So I found two screws to use. One screw's still missing. It's not going to be that critical. Oh, drop the spindle. The spindle goes into paper. Pretty sure it goes under here. Anyway, I'm just going to sit it in there because I'm, I'm not ready to use this thing anyway. So I guess we're going to just put it back together. I'm going to put this back in the Forget box. About it. That's going to be it for this video. So if you need the gear, I'm going to leave the link for you. I don't get no compensation for that link. Just throwing it out of the goodness of my heart since I found it. And you probably want it.
And uh, I saw somebody uh, selling uh, ink cartridges online. You had to buy a good amount of them, but it wasn't a bad deal. If you're going to use it, this, this is really instruction instructions somewhere. Now, back into the box it goes. And there we are. Atari 1020 color printer. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.